The Althorpe Estate, a 13,000-acre property steeped in history, has become the center of a heated family dispute, underscoring the deepening rift between the Spencer family and Prince Harry. Owned by the Spencer family since 1508, Althorpe is not just a symbol of heritage. It was Princess Diana's childhood home and her final resting place. Now, the estate has become the focal point of tension between Louis Spencer, Viscount Althorpe, and Prince Harry, as Lewis asserts his exclusive right to the property, a stance that has reignited old family conflicts and sparked new tensions with Harry and Meghan Markle. During a recent UK visit, Prince Harry's stay at Althorpe for the memorial service of his uncle, Lord Robert Fellows, did not go unnoticed. His presence at the estate, which holds significant emotional value as the resting place of his mother, has reportedly rubbed Lewis Spencer the wrong way. For Lewis, Althorpe is not just an ancestral home, but his future, a responsibility he has prepared for his entire life. His position on the matter is clear. Althorpe is his inheritance, and he has no intention of sharing control or management of the estate with Harry or Meghan. The estate's inheritance is dictated by the tradition of primogeniture, which passes titles and properties to the eldest male heir. Lewis Spencer's determination to uphold this tradition despite its controversial gender bias, stands in stark contrast to modern attitudes and has been a source of criticism within the family. Yet, Lewis remains unwavering, viewing the estate as his birthright. For Prince Harry, Althorpe represents a tangible connection to his late mother, and some speculate that he and Meghan may desire to maintain a bond with the estate for its historical and emotional significance. However, this connection appears unwelcome to Lewis, who sees any involvement from Harry and Meghan as a challenge to his authority and legacy. The Spencer family's internal conflict echoes the broader fractures within the royal family, where ongoing disputes and estrangement have become the norm. Prince Harry's strained relationship with his brother, Prince William, and the larger royal institution only compounds the complexities of his ties with the Spencers. Lewis's refusal to yield on the matter of Althorpe serves as a reminder of the long-standing power struggles and conflicting loyalties that have marred the family for years. Amidst these familial tensions, the symbolic weight of Althorpe cannot be overstated. As Diana's childhood home and her final resting place, it embodies the legacy of the Spencer family, one that is fiercely protected by Lewis. His commitment to preserving the estate, both as a historical treasure and a personal heritage, leaves little room for compromise, even with close relatives. This dispute not only highlights the personal stakes for Lewis, but also shines a light on the broader dynamics of wealth, inheritance, and control that often plague aristocratic families. Lewis's stance has drawn both criticism and support. Critics argue that the primogeniture tradition is outdated and unfair, perpetuating gender inequality within aristocratic inheritances. Supporters, however, view Lewis's determination as a rightful defense of his family's legacy. For Lewis, this is not just about maintaining an estate. It's about upholding centuries of family history, an obligation he believes has been entrusted to him alone. The ongoing tension between Lewis and Harry reflects deeper, unresolved issues that continue to haunt the Spencer and royal families. As the younger generation grapples with the burdens of their legacy, the battle over Althorpe serves as a potent reminder of the complexities and conflicts that lie beneath the surface of Britain's aristocratic traditions. For now, Lewis remains steadfast in his resolve to keep Althorpe firmly under his control, refusing to let even the closest of kin encroach on what he considers his sacred duty.